lastly, let's look at the plane front on. Does it matter what sort of a plane it is? I can't remember the name of something. Um, we've got a student in the room that's a fighter pilot. I can't mention names. Um, what are those little... If there's a plane wing, what do they call those little flow guides sitting on the upper surface, the lower surface? What do they call that? The, the vortex, like vortex, yeah, like vortex, generally. vortex, something, vortex pins, vortex, something like that. Yeah, yeah I can't remember. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so looking at a plane front on. This is why um, your Boeing seven four sevens and the Dreamliners look like this front on. There's your plane. There's your tail. There's the wing. Isn't that beautiful? And it's connected with a beam going through the middle usually to hold it all together. Now, we've established up there there's low pressure, here there's high pressure. Correct? Oh, yeah. There there's low pressure, here there's high pressure. Symbols? Oh, yeah. What stops high pressure going around? Up until 20 years ago, nada. You lost that much of your wing effectiveness because the air comes around here and it forms vortices trailing through the sky. If you Google wingtip vortices, don't do it now, I'll put it up on the screen, you'll see exactly what they look like. They are massive. That is a massive cause of drag. Drag is turbulence behind the plane. The smoother it shoots through the air, glides through the air, the less air disturbance, the less vacuum that's sucking the plane back. Ideally, you want a plane that doesn't do that. So the Boeing 747, they start winglets. Have you seen those on all the modern jetliners? Yeah. Now you know what they do, don't you? Mm. Yeah? yeah? They're there physically as a pressure block to stop the wing trip vortices or to minimise because it's impossible to stop them. And it improves fuel efficiency by something crazy like 3 or 4% which for a jet airliners, they are physically running on the verge of losing money every flight. The market's that competitive, they're on the verge of losing money every time they fly. So 3% fuel saving is massive. Yeah? So, the other thing that they do, as I draw in 3D, if that's a wing, you'll see little vortex, they're called vortex something, vortex pins, vortex anchors, Something like that. They're there for the same thing. It stops the air from sliding sideways. It makes lots of tiny little vortices running behind the plane instead of one big massive one. Make sense? And that's enough flight theory for the day and aircraft theory. Welcome to about four, uh, four years of university if you're an aircraft engineer. <laughs>